Hi, my name is Ziqi Lu. I am presenting consensus informed optimization over mixtures for ambiguity aware object slam. This is a joint work with Qiang Qiang Huang, Kevin Doherty, and Professor John Leonard. In many robot environment interaction tasks, such as mobile manipulation, the robot needs to navigate through the environment and interact with some target objects. Like in this video, the Boston Dynamics robot is performing some robot arranging tasks in a kitchen. To do this, the robot should have spatial awareness of its own pose and its geometric relations to the objects. So it needs to reliably self-localize and pinpoint the target objects for safe navigation and interaction. Building a consistent object-level world representation would greatly facilitate the process. Without external assistance, the robot needs to map the environment using an object-level SLAM system. The development of object SLAM is stimulated by the recent progress in deep learning-based perception models, including semantic segmentation, object recognition, and pose estimation. They can help the robot to identify objects in the environment and estimate their poses relative to the camera. Leveraging the semantic and object pose information, the robot can develop a higher level environment understanding. However, we usually cannot rely on individual object pose measurements to recover the full 60 pose of an object. The single shot pose estimates can have unexpected uncertainties, especially when the objects themselves possess ambiguities in their poses. In this work, we focus on the scenarios where the robot fails to perceive the full 60 pose of an object from an individual measurement. For example, the playing card has central symmetry about its center. If we put the card on the ground, it will appear exactly the same to robots viewing it from opposite angles. This may bring about difficulties to robot localization. The second example is the coffee mug. When the robot sees the mug but can't see its handle, a single observation may result in multiple interpretations of the robot and mug poses. The third example is the failure of an object detector to return a unique bunny box for the teddy bear. When such problems are encountered in SLAM, the ambiguity will hamper the long-term robustness of the robot navigation system. In this work, we resolve this issue by using a discrete, multi-hypothesis pose representation to quantify the uncertainties in ambiguous measurements. For example, a symmetric playing card can have two pose hypotheses, a up hypothesis and a down hypothesis. For a coffee mug, if we can see its handle, it has only one hypothesis. But if the handle is occluded, we can discretize the range of possible orientations to a number of hypotheses. And for the teddy bear detection, we can use one more hypothesis for the redundant bonding box. Beyond that, Multi-hypothesis pose estimation is also becoming increasingly popular in the computer vision community. To best leverage the multi-hypothesis measurements, we will need a SLAM framework to synthesize the ambiguous local measurements and efficiently recover a robust global representation. This is the pipeline for the ambiguity-aware object SLAM. It has a front-end and a back-end. The front-end takes sensor data, makes multi-hypothesis object pose measurements, and feed them into the backend. And the backend performs multimodal probabilistic inference to gradually recover the robot and object poses. The backend should be able to keep track of the multiple pose hypothesis and later disambiguate them. So we can have a globally consistent world representation. To formalize the problem, we consider the following formulation for ambiguity aware object slam. We aim to find the most probable set of robot 60 poses, object landmark 60 poses, and the true pose hypothesis in the ambiguous measurements. We use the automatic measurements for consecutive robot poses and the potentially ambiguous object pose measurements. With the continuous pose variables and the discrete hypothesis decision variables, this becomes a discrete continuous optimization problem. It cannot be solved by the traditional SLAM solvers, which have the Gaussian measurement assumption. Even worse, the combinations of hypothesis assignments grow exponentially with the number of ambiguous measurements. For example, a single observation of the playing card has two pose hypotheses. As the robot makes more measurements during navigation, the space of hypothesis will grow exponentially. 
it is in general intractable to solve this problem with guaranteed global optimality. But there are many existing methods in the literature to tackle it. For example, a natural solution is to reduce it to a unimodal problem by selecting the most likely hypothesis for each ambiguous measurement. We refer to this method as single hypothesis method. It can fail quietly because it's hard to make sure the hypothesis decisions are consistent. Multi-hypothesis tracking is another class of methods which explicitly keeps track of the hypothesis. A number of inference problems will be maintained and solved for the corresponding hypothesis. To keep the method efficient, the last probable post hypothesis will be pruned out. If the pruning strategy is too aggressive, we may get a suboptimal solution. MHSM2 is a recently implemented multi hypothesis SLAM solver. It combines the idea of incremental optimization and efficient multi hypothesis inference. It can maintain multiple state estimates and is general enough to solve a broad range of ambiguity problems. Another strategy is to use Gaussian mixtures to implicitly represent hypotheses. It avoids the complexity of tracing the growing hypothesis space. Based on the variable elimination algorithm, there are Gaussian sum mixtures and max mixtures. Max mixtures uses max product algorithm to marginalize out the post hypothesis variables. This preserves the Gaussian posterior assumption of the problem, so the model is amenable to efficient inference with the standard nonlinear least square optimizers. The downside of this method is the posterior is multimodal, so its solution is likely to be trapped in some local optimum if we don't have a good initial value. In this work, we use the max mixture model for its runtime efficiency and mitigate the local optimality issue, leveraging the consensus over the post hypothesis. Let's take a closer look at the max mixtures model. In this model, we use the max mixture factors to represent the multimodal uncertainties in ambiguous measurements. The factor is a function of a robot pose and the landmark pose. In the formulation, each pose hypothesis is represented by a weighted Gaussian component i. The max operator acts as a selector. It switches to the most likely hypothesis at any given point in the latent space, so we will always work with a single Gaussian component. Well, at the same time, the unselected hypotheses are still kept alive in the latent space. Therefore, with the implicit hypothesis tracking and the Gaussian preserving factors, we can use the traditional SLAM optimizers to efficiently solve the max mixtures model. In this work, we use the incremental solver SM2 to perform online SLAM inference. The downside of this model is we have no idea whether the current mode selection is correct or not because the gradient-based solvers don't have global understanding of the dominant pose hypothesis, so it's likely for the solution to be trapped in some local minima without a good initialization. So we propose to enable the flexibility of dynamically adjusting initializations of the ambiguous landmarks, so we can always restart the optimization in a different mode and guide the solution towards the global optimum. We do this using consensus over the pose hypothesis in ambiguous measurements. This process is called dynamic landmark reinitialization. It augments the local optimization over mixtures with global awareness of dominant modes. The process has two major steps. Each time we receive a new measurement for a landmark, we first find the dominant pose hypothesis based on consensus, and if the dominant mode changes, we reassign the initial value within the new dominant mode. I am going to talk about the details in the two steps with the next two slides. I will first talk about how to reinitialize the landmark variable while keeping the online inference fashion by SM2. To do this, we perform a low overhead local surgery to the factor graph. I will use this demo to walk you through the process. In this piece of factor graph, the landmark variable L1 is first initialized in the left mode, which is temporarily optimal after measurement Z1 and Z2. Suppose we now receive a new measurement Z3 that disambiguates the landmark pose, making the right mode dominant. To change the initialization and restart the optimization in the right mode, we can remove the landmark variable and its neighboring factors, and then add them back with L1 reinitialized in the right mode. After that, the 
hypothesis selections in the max mixture factors will be corrected immediately, and the solution will converge to the global optimum. Other than that, we still need to find the current dominant post hypothesis for each landmark to inform the optimization of the globally consistent mode. It can tell us whether the reinitialization step is needed after a new measurement. We do this based on the fact that world relative poses for static landmarks are time invariant. Only true post hypothesis would appear consistently in measurements. False and outlier hypotheses typically show up unsteadily over time. So if we cache the post hypothesis, the true hypothesis will gradually build up a leading cluster. We can extract this consistent set of post hypotheses and average them to obtain the initial value. If there is a significant change to the average post, the landmark reinitialization step is triggered. To evaluate our approach, we carried out two object slam experiments. The first one is conducted with playing cards as landmarks, modeling the symmetric property of daily objects. We put 40 playing cards on the ground with a 5 by 8 configuration. They are drawn from 22 classes, where some cards are unique and some have a duplicate. We equipped the Marine Robotics Group Swarm Robot with a forward-pointing Z camera for visual odometry and a down-looking black flag camera to take images. The robot is controlled to follow a lawnmower pattern path. Each card is first observed from one angle and later revisited from the opposite. For card post estimation, we used the SIFT feature-based estimator, which can return the two card post hypotheses. We made some key post criteria to filter out spurious post estimates and only use the key poses for optimization. From the key post detection matrix on the right hand side, we can see the environmental features are very sparse. We applied the proposed max mixtures method and the single hypothesis method to process the data. The ground truth was recorded by the Vicon mocap system. A world map is gradually recovered consisting of the robot trajectory and 60 card poses. However, after the first reobservation of the bottom left card, the single hypothesis method starts to fail catastrophically. This is caused by the inconsistent understanding of the absolute card pose from opposite viewpoints. On the contrary, our method has a consistent card pose understanding. After the reobservation, it is able to continuously minimize the slam estimation errors. We also conducted a simulated SLAM experiment in the Unreal Engine with 10 coffee mugs as landmarks. We used the mug model from the YCB dataset and placed them in a virtual environment around some obstacles. A car mounted with a mono camera is created in the environment using the AirSim car simulator. We control the car to move around the mugs and collected odometry, relative mug poses, and images from the AirSim. We made a synthetic multi-hypothesis post estimator based on the viewpoint. If the mug handle is occluded, there will be three post hypotheses in the measurements, otherwise there is only one possible post. And all the post measurements are perturbed with a normally distributed noise. We used four different methods to process the sequence, the single hypothesis method, MHSM2, and the max mixtures method with and without the dynamic reinitialization procedure. We present the ground truth trajectory and mug poses as semi-transparent underneath the SLAM estimates. At the top right, the single hypothesis method has a large deviation in its trajectory estimate because of its inconsistent hypothesis decisions. At the bottom right, we present the MHSM2 solution from the most probable hypothesis. Since the optimal estimate has been pruned out earlier, its final SLAM estimation is suboptimal. The vanilla max mixtures method gives the inaccurate result because its solution is trapped in a local optimum. But with the consensus informed optimization procedure, our method attains the most accurate SLAM estimation. To summarize, we developed a real time, robust object SLAM system that is aware of object pose ambiguities. It uses multi hypothesis representation for object poses in ambiguous measurements. The max mixtures model is used to implicitly keep track of the post hypothesis, and we use consensus over the hypothesis to guide the solution towards the global optimum. The system is demonstrated to attain improved SLAM estimation performance in two object SLAM experiments. For more information, we encourage you to check out our paper.